I got so high on Android that I didn't even realize my SD card was full. And I kept on and on and on going about all the features on the Transformer Prime and CM9 and showing you how excited I was that I didn't even realize my camera was no longer recording because my 16 gigabyte SD card was completely filled. So this is going to be a mix of new and old. I was going to do an install and review inside one video, but I have so much to review and cover that I had to split it up. There was no choice. What you're about to see in just a moment is a review of Signs by 9 and then after that original part's finished, I'm going to cover some things that I've discovered that do and do not work. Here we go. Security. Lock screen. Is it there? It's there! Face unlock! It's going to be a little bit out of focus while I do this. It's at an angle, so it's going to be a little bit out of focus, but I'll do what I can. And I'm going to set my pattern. Next. Awesome. And I'd like to choose make pattern visible. I like to uncheck that so people can't see it. And under here, under improve. Automatically lock. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time just in case. Now I'm gonna lock it by pressing the lock button and then I'm gonna unlock it. Cool, I like that, it's neat. And that's pretty fast too. No complaints there at all. You see that look, I'm gonna lock it with the button on the keyboard, right here, this lock button. And then I'm gonna press it again. Look, I had to give it 15 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and lock it, give it 15 seconds, because during this time, you can still unlock it without redoing your face, which is pretty freaking awesome, because you may lock it and then get a notification and go, oh, I need to check that, and then just quickly flip it back open, and you don't have to put in your code or show your face. I've always had the little pattern thing, because I don't want someone to just pick up my tablet and start messing with everything, because I have Google Voice on here. Just see how quick this is. I can even talk and it unlocks. That's freaking insane. And you see that it's doing pretty much all of my apps. I love that the little battery icon has the dock and the prime. Because I don't think you had that option at first. Will the setting shortcut work? No. Okay, a lot of the shortcuts aren't working at the moment. But I guarantee you they will eventually. I'm going to go over here to Launcher. There's not very many things just yet. Transition effect. I'm actually going to install Nova Launcher. Because I've been playing with that. And I really like it. Under system, I can go to the combined bar, and I'm going to go ahead and choose the little AM PM. If I take a screenshot, I like knowing what time it was. And then the battery style, I love the little percentage. I'll zoom in on that. There you go. It says 83%. That's awesome. I know I say awesome a lot. Please get over it. I'm sorry. I, I can't. Oh my goodness. What about Bluetooth? Okay, you can still use the trackpad. I'm just going to click on Goo Manager. And then it's going to ask for super user permission and you allow it. <laughs> if your ROM has an update, you'll get a little notification saying that there's an update available. I'm going to donate to Goo Manager. I've been a long time supporter of Clockwork Mod Recovery, but Team Win is doing amazing things with their recovery. And this Goo Manager is, oh, you have to download Goo Manager. You could pretty much unlock your Prime without a computer. The only thing I think you're going to need a computer for is installing recovery. Because you either have to have root to do it with Goo Manager or ROM Manager, or you have to use Fastboot. And now there's pretty much no need to use Reboot Recovery recovery because you can do it right from here which I'm gonna try that real quick I don't know if you can reboot to recovery or not I know you can with Goo Manager is it gonna work <laughs> I hope that I don't piss too many people off with my excitement you don't understand I kept on debating and debating and debating on whether I should do this or not and I can't believe it took me so long <laughs> it restored my ADW launcher. I'm not using ADW launcher. I'm sorry. I used to. I love it. I would still use it on the phone, but I'm going to install Nova launcher. All right. Now I'm going to lock it and then unlock it. Hi. <laughs> I love that. Oh my God. You can't do that with the stock ROM. Oh. To get to your settings, you got this little button right here. And you got your quick toggles. You can change all these out if you want to. And then scroll down a little bit to get to the actual settings. And then in here, you can actually go to your system. See, this is nowhere near finished. And you can actually press back on the keyboard to go back, which is awesome. Because I'm so used to doing that instead of hitting that. Can I lock the little trackpad? No, I can't lock it from there. I don't know how I'm going to do that. 
You can set the amount of home screens you have, grid size, search bar, resize any widget. I recommend checking that. Transition effect when you flip between the pages. Drawer. As you can see when I sign into my Google account, it pretty much restored every app I've ever downloaded. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I have chosen to go with Nova Launcher. Yeah, there's Apex, Epix, whatever it's called, and a lot of people were reviewing it in the reviews of Nova Launcher, but I chose Nova Launcher. I even got the Prime version, because there's a lots of different effects and things you can do. And these, you can take these. This is a thing of CyanogenMod 9. It traces your fingers. I'll show you. You go over here to developer options, root access, apps, and ADB, show touches. See now when I touch somewhere, it doesn't follow my finger, but when you click show touches, it does. There's a lot of things you can play with here. I like this one right here because when I hold the back button, I'll open up an app real quick, such as RAW Manager. <laughs> don't care I'm not gonna update that hold down the back button and it kills it application killed now I'm gonna try I wonder if holding down this back button will do it it does sweet I've went through a lot of the settings so hopefully you're familiar with what's working and what's not I want to go ahead and say this right now <laughs> I haven't found much that doesn't work some of the buttons like play that works you can skip tracks you can lower the volume, raise it, and then mute it. Settings shortcut doesn't work. The web browser button works. Screenshot button doesn't work. You can't lower or raise the brightness. You can't disable the trackpad from the button. Oh, it's scrolling. Why is it scrolling? How did I get it to scroll? Oh, yeah, the two fingers. Oh, that's cool. On here on the screen, when you do two fingers, it has two little pointy things on it. I wonder if you do three. It doesn't detect three, just two. That's neat. The home button works. The search button does work. Bluetooth button doesn't work. And the Wi-Fi button doesn't work. One thing I'm too curious about is if the USB Ethernet adapter works. Ah, oh, the lights on it are flashing. Huh. Let's turn off wireless real quick. Wi-Fi turned off. Maybe it's in this, there might be something in the settings. No, there's not, but let's see if we have internet. Oh, I can just use the shortcut key. Now, open a new tab. No, it's not available. It's flashing, there's activity going on, but at this point, I do not know how to enable it. If I do find out, I will put it in the description, so I highly recommend you checking the description out. This is Nova Launcher. You actually have like a lot of different things, like accordion. When I open up my app drawer, it's like an accordion going in between the pages. And you can change that. I don't know how I'm gonna get the ethernet thing to work. And one thing I want to go ahead and show you real quick is if you go under advanced, this is where you choose performance, balanced, or power save. And this is if you want the dock in some other language besides English. When you put in an SD card, a micro SD card, or a thumb drive, before you had the convenience of just pushing down here and then clicking a little button that safely ejected it, now you actually have to go through the trouble of going to storage, finding the thumb drive, and then clicking unmount. Like what's in it now is actually a small SD card. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Open up ES File Explorer. If I click up here on favorites, there's the SD card, and that's everything that's on it. It's just puppy Linux right now. Then do safely eject it. You gotta go to storage, and then there's the SD card. Press unmount and OK. Now it's out of there. So that shows you the SD card does work. So does USB. I'm really loving the battery percentage. I haven't found anything that doesn't work besides a couple keys on the keyboard. Again, with Nova Launcher, you can disable that stupid dock. I don't like the dock at all. Now there's no dock there. And you can transition this too. I'm gonna do a full review of Nova Launcher someday. I'm pretty new at it actually, so I don't know what all you can do and can't do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It got cut off before because my SD card was completely full, so I'm not sure where I needed to pick up at. But yeah, if you're not already subscribed to me, please do so. I upload content on a regular basis. I spend several hours working on videos and I take time away from family things so I can get these videos out there to you guys. So all I ask of you is to simply give the video a thumbs up. A little button 
button down there. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.